am Sasha of Sasha Makes Cards, and welcome to the A Cherry on Top January 2024 YouTube op. I'm so excited to be joining the 2024 design team for A Cherry on Top and to be sharing my creations with all of you. The theme for this month's YouTube op is to try something new. So I've decided to try uh, doing some watercoloring using a Distress Oxide ink pad. More specifically, the Faded Jeans Distress Oxide ink pad. I haven't done much watercolor before. And especially, I've never done watercoloring on a card project, so I thought it'd be fun to try in watercolor for my project today. I first started by using some Canson mixed media paper to die cut my doves. I used uh, a dove from the Honeybee Stamps Lovely Lair Doves die set. I then started watercoloring the dove by adding some Faded Jeans Distress Oxide, swiping that onto my Tim Holtz Tonic Studios glass matte work surface, spraying it with some water, and then using a paintbrush to add that color to the dove to try my hand at watercoloring. In between the layers, I would use my heat gun to dry the paint faster, or try dry the ink faster, so that I could build up some color and build up some just darker shading and values and just really have some fun with experimenting with doing this. Once I was done watercoloring the dove, I then used a white jelly roll pen to add some detail into the embossed part of the wings of the dove. Now that the dove itself is all watercolored and I've added that little detail with the jelly roll pen, I am die cutting the rest of the pieces I need. So I die cut the little feather bits at the end and the beak. The beak I actually die cut in a little swatch of faded jeans that I did on a scrap piece of cardstock. And then I die cut the tag and the ribbon that the dove is going to be carrying in its mouth. Off camera, I used liquid adhesive to glue the feathers and the beak onto the bird because I was worried that my head would get into the way because it's such small little details. And then I used uh, the same Distress Oxide ink pad, Faded Jeans, to watercolor the tag. I then used liquid adhesive to glue the ribbon onto the tag, and then the tag into the bird's mouth. Using the Honeybee Stamps Winter Wonderland double-sided pattern paper cardstock pack, I chose this blue forest wintry scene to go with the blue dove that I had made earlier. I cut down this piece of paper using my paper trimmer to a little bit smaller than the size of an A2 card front. I cut it down to 5 by 3 and 3 quarters, and then using the same Faded Jeans Distress Oxide, I ink blend it around all four corners of my little card panel to just add some more shading to the card. To add even more color, I used Black Soot Distress Oxide and blended that into the very corners of my card panel. Something I usually do with my cards is I make a matching color coordinated mat to complement the card. So this is what I'm doing here. I trimmed a piece of paper a little larger than the card front itself and ink blend it with Faded Jeans Distress Oxide to match the rest of the card. As for the sentiment, I used the Classic Greetings Sentiment Stamp Set from Altenew, stamped it a few times using my Gina K Designs Obsidian Ink Cubes to make sure I get a nice, sharp, crisp impression, and then die cut my sentiment using the Coordinating Die Set. To finish the card, I then used liquid adhesive to attach everything all together. Be sure to check out the description box for a complete list of the supplies I used to make this card, as well as a list of all the other design team members and their videos to hop along with and for a chance to win a $25 gift card to shop at a Cherry on Top Crafts. Thank you so much for watching!